Hello there, my name is Akos. This is just a short video showing you how to set up your apiaries in Feed the Beast. Um, this is something I had a little bit of I guess, trouble with getting it really right the first time. Um, this is a remake of a video I made a few days ago. The one I made a few days ago was pretty bad quality, pretty bad sound. Uh, this one should be 720p with better sound. So this is my apiary setup. I've got 16 apiaries. This side I'm running valuable bees that give platinum dust. And this side I've got various bees, um, two cultivated, two industrious, two imperial, two tropical for the various products they produce. Um, I've got some alveares, but as I said in the other video, these can't be automated at the minute due to uh, a piping issue, which should be fixed in the next version of Forestry, I think. Probably the version that's already out, but I've not updated my Minecraft. Well, we've not updated the server. So I'll wait until we get an actual update on the Feed the Beast launcher. Um, so, here we go. Uh, also, as I mentioned in the last video, frames can be a bit tedious. I've got an item tesseract feeding frames into a barrel, even though frames don't stack, they do stack in a barrel, so that's kind of nice. And when we go downstairs to the basement through that portal there, I'll show you um, just where they're coming from, just for clarity. Right, so the, the beast setup, um, is as follows apiary pipe underneath your apiary and um, I'll pick a side we'll put wood pipe on and what I use is the autatic iron ore gate and I use this because it gives you two conditions which are set to items in inventory energy pulse to get rid of everything outside out of the apiary and the second one I set to no frames redstone signal. And what that does is whenever there's no frames in there, it emits a redstone signal, which you can then use to light up a cage lamp or any kind of lamp. But, um, I kind of stole that idea off Generic B off the Minecraft server. I think he stole it from somewhere else, but um, I've just done it on one gate there instead of having two separate gates. Next we have a cobblestone or a stone pipe. Um, when you're doing air periods in series like this, you need to alternate that between cobblestone and stone so they don't connect. Uh, if you're just doing one, it doesn't matter which you use. And then on this side we'll go with uh, iron pipe, which is a one-way pipe. But again, for one, this doesn't matter, but when in series you need the iron pipe to stop the bees going the wrong way. And then we'll just borrow this chest. Put the chest there. So there you go, a complete setup. Let's get a few frames. Put some frames in there. One, two, three. And there you have it, that's totally automated, apart from obviously putting the frames in. But at least whenever the frames are out, you'll have a red light on to let you know. And um, these aren't going to run out any time soon. No, they're all pretty... I changed these a while back. And then the last thing, just to tidy it up, I've got some uh, facades there that you can click on your buildcraft pipes to cover things up. Kind of keeps things a bit tidy looking. Um, quickly, I'll just show you downstairs. This is my bee lab where I've been manipulating the bee genetics. Um, I've actually got too much stuff now. I've turned quite a bit of it off. Uh, I've got plenty of ambrosia. Uh, full honey. I need some more royal jelly still. Full honeydew. Oh no, I use some honeydew. Um, the system upstairs feeds into an ender chest. This is the opposite end of the ender chest. Red power sorting system sends the combs to orange, which uses these factorization routers to feed into four centrifuges and a router to pull out again. Feed them back into the chest so then the honey that comes from the centrifuges can then be secondary for filtered here to go to the squeezer. But again, I've got too much honey, so at the minute my honey is just going to blue. With the rest of the stuff which goes into these barrels. Um, the thing with the factorization routers 
if there was no barrel there for the item to go to, the item would get stuck in here. So I've got an attack at gate there. Set to pulse when the inventory is full. So when items get stuck in there, that gate turns on, sends things into my sorting system. And then the last thing there is yellow, which is the sorting system, which the platinum dust goes to. That, my fact, my main factory is up there, and that gets sorted, fed into platinum dusts, and then uh, centrifuged into iridium nuggets. And um, the last thing I want to show, well, just quickly, is uh, honey getting used to make scented panelings for your aloe veras. And here's where the impregnated sticks are made for the frames. Auto crafting table to make them into frames. And they just get sent through the item tesseracts up to the barrel to the top that I showed you at the beginning. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this is better quality than the last time. Bye.